Hey what's up guys, Mastrain here coming back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about case investing and case investing is something that's starting to become a lot more popular among the investing community. So what I did is I made three pros and three cons for investing in it. So my first pro is that the price moves very fast. And I also put this as one of the cons as well because it can be viewed as good or bad depending on how you see it. The good thing about this is the price moves so fast, like we've seen in the Shattered Web case where the price has gone up nearly 30% in a couple days, but at the same time it also has that potential to shoot straight down if people want to sell their cases just like that. Alright, the second pro I have is that these cases are usually lower prices compared to some other investments. And that usually means that there's a lot more chance to profit. It's easier to profit and double your money compared to something you're buying for $5 or $10. You're, you're not going to see it go to $20 as fast as you might see a case go from $0.10 to $0.20. Cents. There's a lot, it's a lot easier to make your money in some. The second con I have is that all the prices of cases are based on demand. And if there's no demand for a case such as the revolver case, the revolver case has been out for a while. And there's not much hype around it, there's not much demand for it. It's been out for a long time and there's still a lot of them available because people don't want to unbox them. The revolver's kind of a useless gun in CSGO and because of that, the case has suffered. It's only at 5 cents when it's been out for so much longer than all these other cases. Alright, the third pro I have is that there is limitless potential. Since there is such a high amount of cases, your, you buying 100 of these cases usually won't affect the price. But if you were to buy 100 of a skin investment, it's going to affect the price a lot more and could drive the price up or down depending on how you want it to. It's a lot harder to create case manipulation, making them a more stable investment because they're not going to be a lot of people trying to manipulate them because it's just so hard to do so. Alright guys, coming in at my third con, I have that the cases can be introduced at any time. Valve has not shown that they want to do this, but they also are a little bit unpredictable as we've seen in the past. Cases could come back into CSGO drop pool at any time, and um, it could really destroy a lot of people's investments. These cases are... When most people invest into these cases, they're assuming that... Alright guys, and now for the big question, should you be investing in the Shattered Web case? I think so, I have invested in it. There's a lot of these cases available, which is the only downside to it. But, these cases have... Valve has shown they don't want to reintroduce these cases. They had a chance to put them in the drop pool, they decided not to. And there's a lot of demand for this case. It has four new knives, including the skeleton knife, which is a very, very valuable knife. And there's not much downside to it, I don't think. The only chance there could be some small price drops is when people who have thousands of these cases offload them into the Steam market. But there is such a high amount of these cases being sold every day Every hour there's almost a couple thousand of these sold that I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. It's, there's a lot of demand for this case and I don't think it's really going to be introduced in, back into the equation. But that's all I have for today guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.